Hello, Taurus couples, and welcome to your welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Okay, so this is a general reading, and what I've done this week was for you, Taurus. I've noticed that there are some issues in the relationship. So what I kind of did was dissect your reading so that we can look at the problems that are going on in the relationship and see what we can do to solve some of these problems um, in this relationship because I feel it's important to maybe take a look at things individually on, on an individual basis on what's going on to see what can be done to repair the issues that are going on in the relationship. So the first card that I shuffled for was for your partner and how they're feeling. So this could, this is a general reading. So this could even be you or your partner. Okay. So one of you is feeling, um, a feeling of overall disappointment about how things have play, been playing out lately. Um, and you're trying to heal from some type of an injustice that was done. Now this is directly, direct, directly related to the fact that there was a three party situation. And someone in your situation has one foot in and one foot out the door. And um, one of you is really feeling disappointed and you're trying to heal from whatever has happened in the recent, in the recent, uh, in recent times. So now we're going to move on and take a look at the current moment. So someone in your situation right now, whether this is you or your partner, is feeling victimized. You're hoping to get your emotions back in balance. Uh, there's definitely some trust issues here because of things that have happened in the past. I'm saying that one of you is hoping for a victory in this situation. And one of you wants to come out from being left out in the cold. One of you sees the other as being non-committal. And there is um, someone is looking to sever the ties in this relationship. And there's an overall feeling of bitterness that's going on in this relationship right now. So this is what's going on in the current moment. Someone's feeling victimized and kind of distancing themselves. Um, there's definitely trust issues because this person kind of feels like you're not committed to this relationship anymore. And they're feeling like there's still, there's someone else, you know, kind of lurking outside of the relationship. So we're going to move on to how you see yourself, or this is, could be how your partner sees yourself. This is a, sees themselves rather. This is a general reading. Someone in your situation sees themselves as um, feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back because some of you, like I said before, you have one foot in and one foot out the door and there was some type of a betrayal that happened in this situation. Uh, there were definitely lies that were told to your partner. Um, you or your partner sees yourself as, as a victim. You feel you're, you, you feel as though you were stabbed in the back. So let's look at your inner thoughts about your partner. And this can go either way. General reading. Some of you might be going to spiritual teachers right now to get some type of um, insight on your situation or maybe um, marriage counselors to try to solve um, some issues right now. And that's for some of you. Um, your inner thoughts about your partner. You're kind of feeling like they're not willing to work together in this relationship to solve things. And... Um, Maybe there was some type of an offer that was put forth to try to repair things, but someone turned it down is what I'm seeing. So your partner's inner thoughts about you is that this person feels stuck, stuck on um, two paths. They're not quite sure which path to take. This person could be blocking you out of their heart as well because of this betrayal. So this is how your partner feels about you. They're not quite sure what they want to do, if they want to stay or go. So your partner's inner thoughts about you. <clears throat> it's looking as if there are communication issues in this relationship. And it looks like there have been um, multiple <clears throat> times of trying to repair the relationship. I'm saying this was like an on again, off again thing recently. The two of you are definitely um, trying to find a way to communicate, but it looks like there are definitely some barriers there. One of you is feeling a bit um, cold and distant. 
or this is how your partner sees you rather as cold and distant and maybe a bit detached from the relationship lately so let's look at the weaknesses in the relationship the weaknesses in the relationship is that it looks like someone one of you is willing to put in the work in this situation one of you is still wanting to hold on and you're wanting to balance the scales um, but again, there's, um, I'm seeing definite communication issues between you guys right now. And this had something to do with someone kind of sneaking around and keeping secrets from you. So I'm definitely seeing right now for some of you Taurus, for some of you Tauruses that communication can be blocked right now. You may be blocking someone on social media or like I said, blocking someone out of your heart. Communication is definitely an issue because of some type of deception. And one of you is contemplating ending the relationship because there is another person. So these are the weaknesses in the relationship right now. So now let's take a look at potential for a healthy relationship that the two of you have. Now, right now I'm seeing that things are kind of in danger. Um, there, there could, things could be salvaged here. The issue here is that no one's making a decision. Now, if no one makes a decision, this is going to continue to cause a factor because this person that you're involved with right now, they're already having trust issues. They don't trust you right now. Um, and they're waiting for you to make a decision. They're hoping for you to make a decision. They're trying to heal. So there is still a possibility to salvage this issue. But a decision needs to be made. I'm also seeing that someone's feeling very defensive. They feel like they have to stand their ground. Because there's another woman in the, there's another person in the middle of this relationship right now. And, but one of you is gaining some type of emotional maturity. You're kind of, um, one of you is feeling like you're outgrowing this situation. The issue here is that there is no real communication here. So how can anyone solve something if there's no communication? So it's at the point where you guys really need to sit down and have a heart to heart and really open up and talk about things. And not just talk, but actually it has to be where someone, where both of you are listening fully, where you're not listening on the surface or you're not listening, just waiting for an opportunity to rebut what the person has to say, but you listen with an open heart. This person needs to know that you care. And this can go either way. You, if, if this is you, then it's your partner that's feeling this way, okay? So it can go either way. But yeah, there definitely needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here if the two of you are to um, trying to make this relationship healthy again. Now the roadblocks that are ahead that need to be repaired is someone is definitely dwelling on the past. Okay, but this is not, um, I'm saying that healing needs to take place here. But it, like, like I always say, Healing starts with the truth. I feel like the two of you need to really, truly, I, I'm, I sound like I'm repeating myself, but I, I'm just reiterating that it's necessary to sit down and have a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation where everyone puts their true feelings out there so that this person can heal from the past and heal from whatever rejection is there. Because there's also a feeling of deception. This person feels deceived or you feel deceived. It can go either way. Remember that. This is a general reading. So now we're going to move on to the outcome. So the outcome is someone decides to end the situation because they feel like they're better off single. And they may turn down an offer because they, they may be feeling like their happiness is elsewhere. So there is a chance to save this relationship. There is definitely some confusion here. This person is confused about things. So that's what I'm, I mean by having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that will clear up a lot of confusion. That's making someone feel in this situation like they have to leave. 
there are a lot of unknown factors, so that's why they're feeling stuck right now. There's a feeling of despondence. Again, it's directly related to this confusion, and it's related to some type of infidelity. This goes right back to feeling, you know, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There's a feeling of complacency. Someone feels like they settled, and they're unhappy right now. Okay, so right now I'm going to do another spread for you. I'm going to find out what is blocking you in this relationship. What is causing these roadblocks? Okay, bear with me. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the Taurus couples from now until next week? Holy Spirit, show me what's blocking this couple. What is blocking this couple? Again, it's it's this mistrust and there's a lack of communication here. The, it feels like the two of you are not able to communicate without fighting, without bickering. And there's someone, you know, not being dis not being honest. There's someone feeling emotionally distant and there's someone feeling like they're better off moving on and finding a union elsewhere in this situation. So this is what's blocking the two of you. There's a lack of communication here. The lines of communication need to open up um, so that this bitterness can be resolved. The lines of communication need to be opened up to figure out what this is about. What is this lying, cheating, sneaky behavior about? And this is what's causing this person to want to move on. Okay, so the advice cards that were pulled here are peaceful resolution, recovery, and the situation will improve. I'm feeling that this situation does have a chance to be resolved, but there's a lot of work that needs to go into this. The two of you need to sit down to see what you can do to hash out these issues. And like I said, it's necessary to sit down where... Um, the complete truth is told on both sides, where every, where both parties listen with an open heart, You're not interrupting, and just really hearing your partner out. Um, because I'm definitely seeing that the two of you are butting heads. You're not able to talk without arguing, without bickering. There, it looks like there's talk of severing ties here. Someone wants to move on and move out. That there, the, a peaceful re resolution can be brought to this, but I feel like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation truly does need to be had here. And the advice here is there is an opportunity for recovery, and the two of you can reach a peaceful resolution. And the situation will improve if you're able if and willing to put in the work that it takes to resolve this. Okay, Taurus, this does it for your weekly reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at angelicascensionstarot.com or directly at my email at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Thanks to all of you who subscribed. And if this resonated with you, do me a favor and hit that like button. And I will see you again next week. And for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I give you a warm welcome. All right. Taurus couples, bye for now.